Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled a message from the gravitational universe. So what do we see here? Well, this is a diagram kind of giving us a little bit of the understanding of how gravitational waves work and how they are continuing to be detected. Now, gravitational waves were predicted by Einstein in his general theory of relativity over a 100 years ago. However, they were not detected until within the last decade now. So it's been less than 10 years that we've actually been able to detect and measure them. So this is a very new part of the field of astronomy. Gravitational waves occur when any object when met with mass moves. However, because the force of gravity is so weak, those waves are very tiny and essentially undetectable unless you have very high masses moving at very high speeds. So we see in the upper left two supermassive black holes orbiting around each other in a distant galaxy. And as they spiral in and eventually merge together, they accelerate to extremely high speeds and of course, of course, they have very high masses, and that will cause a ripple within space and time. And if we look at the grid around there, space time would normally be a nice smooth grid, especially far away from any massive object. However, the gravitational waves traveling through space could then cause ripples within this space time. So that would then affect the measurements of other objects. Now we can detect those ripples here on Earth from extremely uh, from massive black holes combining together, typically lower mass black holes, things that are 20 or 30 times the mass of our sun. However, here we're seeing supermassive black holes much larger. Now, just as we have different frequencies of light, we have different frequencies of gravitational waves. And what things like the current gravitational wave detectors on Earth detect are those solar mass black holes, things that are stars, many stars put together, forming a black hole. And when they merge together, that's what we are able to detect with things like LIGO and the Virgo detectors that can detect those high frequency gravitational waves. The here we get much lower frequencies, so they're a little harder to detect. The equipment is not set up to detect them, just as an optical telescope cannot detect radio waves. However, looking at the timing of these different pulsars, that we can actually learn about this gravitational wave background. And as the gravitational wave ripples past each of these pulsars, that will cause slight variations in their pulses. Now, pulse Pulsars are generally extremely accurate, repeating with a very high precision and very exactly the same period every single time. So they can be used as timing devices and any variations with them are now being able to put towards being able to understand what this background might be like from what could be many millions or uh, or so of black holes that have combined together in the past and their combined gravitational waves ripple across the universe and give us this background that we're just beginning to learn to detect. So that was our picture of the day for June 29th of 2023. It was titled A Message from the Gravitational Universe. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be asteroid day. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.